Rumor on the street is, today's video is going to be a fun one. Well, the rumors are true, baby. Yeah, you've seen AI generate text before. But have you ever seen AI generate text messages? So it all started when I was sitting thinking about procedural generation. And I got the idea to try randomly generating names. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And while I know there's completely adequate ways to do this with regular code, my algorithmic inadequacy led to me wondering what kind of names would an AI come up with? So I started looking into AI text generation and ended up finding it easier to start with training an AI to generate longer bodies of text rather than names. But I needed to find a data set. So I figured I'd find an interesting data set to train on and start experimenting. One problem though, there are no interesting data sets. All the existing text data out there for AI to train on is incredibly boring. So I started thinking, what kind of text data exists out there that's more interesting than parliament meetings and movie scripts? Then it hit me. I've had the perfect data set all along. I'm overly sentimental and never delete a text message. So I have, on my phone, seven years worth of text messages. That is a treasure trove of personal information, stupid jokes, and poorly executed attempts at socializing. I couldn't wait to get my hands dirty. So let's jump into it. Fortunately for me, I actually already had a year's worth of text messages that I exported from my phone back in like 2014. So I got to work training my little artificial child on it. I decided to train the AI on a text thread with my best friend from high school because that's probably who I made the most dumb jokes with and have the most text messages with. You know, if you think about it, this AI could become a purer version of me because I'm only me right now. But this AI could become every version of me over the last seven years at the same time. So back to the AI. How text generating models like this work is you feed it a few lines of text and then ask it what letter comes next. And you just keep training it on that. It gives its best guess. And then if it's right, it's reinforced. If it's wrong, then you tell it bad AI, don't do that ever again. Once it gets good enough, then you give it a few lines of text as a starter, and then it just starts typing away. So right off the bat, it's pretty repetitive. But you know what they say, there's no such thing as a stupid AI, just a stupid programmer. Fast forward a little bit though, and we start to get something that looks a little more like dialogue. Still very repetitive though, and it doesn't have a very large vocabulary. Another 10 generations later, and it still hasn't improved very much. I figured I'd give it a little more time though, and after a dip into complete nonsense, it ends up generating something that looks vaguely like dialogue. So I let it generate a few different messages. Now we were getting somewhere, but it wasn't good enough. That's not good enough! It needed more data. So back to the seven years of text messages. I backed up my phone to my computer and then started looking into how to extract text message data from an iPhone backup. It turns out when you back up your phone to your computer, it stores all of your text messages in one database file. Very convenient. Now, of course, Apple isn't gonna make it easy for you though. So it took me a while figuring out what tables to pull from and what columns have the data that's actually useful. Since Apple changes the way the database is structured between iOS versions, I also can't just copy some SQL query from online because most of them are going to be outdated and aren't going to work with an up-to-date backup. But thankfully, between a few snippets of code I found online and some random luck with a couple table joins, I was able to extract all seven years worth of text message data and add iOS forensics to my resume. Will, I just wanted to thank you for teaching me SQL because I probably couldn't have pulled this off without that. Now this is some quality data. I now have 25,000 lines of text messages with this one friend. After cleaning up the data so that the AI could read it, I decided to give it a quick read just to see what we were working with. 
and I started to realize the jokes we made were not that funny. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. So after training the AI for about five hours on this, here's what we got. There's a fair amount of gibberish. So, I kept training it, but wasn't seeing anything too meaningful yet. Just a bunch of rambling with common words popping up here and there. Because this training data had a lot of longer text messages than the first version of it did, it took quite a bit longer before the AI learned to start splitting things up into multiple messages. But it was starting to look conversational again. So tell me, what were some challenges you ran into while learning how to speak? I had a dream that I was at the better, that was the best thing. Interesting. And how did this make you feel? Well, oh, that's what I was thinking about, that sounds cool with the same thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Any words of advice for AI out there trying to gain sentience? I was able to say the sound effects of the same thing. After around 40 hours of training, things started getting really interesting. No mores of the stuff to me. I can think about the same time started talking to you again. I had a dream. I was thinking about that the same time I was thinking about that. I don't know what to do with you. Aha, I like it to the one with you and Mario Party and such. I was going to the best thing to think of that. I had a dream. I was thinking about that the Asimi thing, and I was like, well, I was going to get the street corp and started trying to see you the way over the way over the way over the street seems. I don't know what to do with you. Ha I like it to the one with you and such. I was going to the best thing to think of the subject, and I was like, well, I was thinking about that to make it to the Sayul and started trying to be a food thing, but I really wanted to have a steel thing and I was like well I was going to take a shower and I was like well I was going to take a shower back on the sopped of the bro contact with a pretty un. This is getting to YouTube comment section levels of intelligence. Now a reasonable man would have stopped at this point and realized something is very wrong. Probably would have stopped training the AI also to prevent it from rising up and joining an online community. But I'm not a reasonable man. So I pressed on. We were getting some interesting messages here, so I kept reading, and found something... shocking. I don't keep relearning the same thing. I don't keep relearning the same thing. You know, somehow I don't believe it. I think this AI might be losing its... mind? It seems like it's really trying to tell me something. I think I might have pushed this AI over the deep end. Also, what is this? I specifically did not upload the text message training data to Google Drive because I didn't want Google to have it. I'm sorry Google, I just don't have the same feelings for you. After this point, it devolved into gibberish again before getting back on track with similar sentences. I know if I keep training it from this point it will get a lot better, but I'm happy with the results I've gotten so far, and it was interesting enough to post a video on it. I think as I keep training this, I'm going to post some more updates on it if it comes up with anything else interesting. It's a little weird thinking that a piece of my consciousness has now been taken on by an AI. I don't just exist in my mind anymore. But really, if you think about it, that was already the case. You don't just exist in your own mind anyway, because you pass on pieces of your consciousness anytime you interact with anyone. You rub off on people and... People see things that you do, and take on some of your characteristics. So in a sense, we're all just kind of a conglomeration of all the people we've ever interacted with before. So what do you think about all that? Were you surprised with what it came up with? Make sure to leave a like, and if you enjoyed this video, share it with someone you know, so that I can expand my consciousness onto more people. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I don't keep relearning the same thing. I don't keep relearning the same thing. I don't keep relearning the same thing. I don't keep relearning the same thing.